Hi everybody, welcome to part one of our uh, Hi-Fi uh, amplifier. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to off uh, the output transformer, the first one. I'm winding that now, so uh, yeah, we have to uh, see uh, how uh, how that works out. So there's quite some work to do. Um, I will continue uh, with this uh, with this uh, one of that transformer, uh, the second one, and uh, obviously uh, the power transformer. Um, I endeavour to uh, show you uh, only this part of the first uh, output transformer. Uh, I will uh, line them, uh, uh, both of them, and I will show you when I start off the pickup transformer, when I line that, I will show you that. And then I will show you uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the number of turns of the, the, the speaker, of the right speaker. What I have to go on, I will show you that. And then I will consequently uh, uh, put all the metal in, uh, uh, solder the lot, and I will show you the, uh, uh, when they are finished. Uh, and in between I uh, will try to start off our uh, the construction of uh, well, the, the frame. With, uh, with the sockets and with the valves and then you know what so uh, you can uh, have a full story of this oh well, guys it will be quite some, a while to uh, to make that uh, uh, amplifier and I'm sure, absolutely sure this will work, will, uh, work perfectly so uh, anyway guys I have some good news also I uh, have put uh, my uh, turntable, my uh, record player, I had to clean them up, I had to the pulley of it, I uh, cleaned that up with alcohol that was worked perfectly and uh, I put the belt in, the new belt and uh, I tried them and uh, there was no problem there are only two electric, electric capacitors in there so they seem to be alright and uh, yeah, uh, there was no problem, it was uh, turning normally. So uh, then I uh, brought uh, the switch, uh, I opened them up, I had a look at the switch. The switch was nothing wrong with it, only thing I have to lubricate them with, with some grease, the special grease, and then the switch was working as well. So uh, and there you go. So. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is to replace uh, two light bulbs, which I don't seem functioning. And uh, I have to solder uh, on the, where the needle is in, I call that. Um, there are four wires on there, two channels of course, and because of the clamp that uh, on that wire, with, with the insulation in between I suppose, uh, the copper got ox oxidized and you know consequently it doesn't work anymore so what I have to do next is uh, to uh, get some insulation on the back of the clamp get that away, solder that and solder it on due to, to the clamp so we have uh, a connection again that's what I have to do with uh, my uh, uh, turntable or my, uh, my pickup as they call them in Dutch and um, Anyway guys, that is that's the story behind it and I will do my best to keep the videos as short as possible. Also as interesting as possible. Um, if you like the video, then give me your thumbs up and let uh, me know where we are. Any, anytime you, if you tell me what you like, I will consequently also know what, what you like. So it uh, makes the, the video making uh, a little bit easier, okay? So guys, I'll shut down for the moment and I'll come back to you when I have more, okay? Hi everybody, I want to update you uh, what I'm doing. You see on the bottom, bottom right you can see uh, two coils here. There are the <coughs> output uh, transformers. Uh, only the secondary uh, uh, winding has to go on. I'm now busy with uh, the power transformer, as you can see. 
and uh, yeah, the, uh, I need about uh, something like uh, four, five hundred and eighty-seven uh, turns on there for the primary, and, uh, and the secondary, and for three hundred volts will be uh, seven hundred and ninety-four. So it has to be twice because we have a phase shift in there because we are using a valve the two anodes so uh, that will be the the GZ34 uh, and uh, oh, guys I'm, I'm just investigating everything that I uh, get, get up till now so uh, I'm really making a good uh, job uh, of uh, informing myself um, I'm up against so um, see uh, some suggestions and uh, schematics I won't uh, follow them blindly I won't do that because I will think thoroughly about it uh, and because I want to do uh, the job right um, I'll turn them just now so he was running to the right and if it is uh, reversed and now he's uh, running now to the left again so otherwise he will uh, run off the spool Anyway guys, uh, so far so good, uh, I will keep going, uh, I will shut the video down again and I will come back to you when I all have done this. I will also put the secondaries uh, on there completely and, and I will assemble uh, the transformers. So and then uh, from there on, uh, yeah, it will be uh, very interesting because I have to make uh, the box or the, the cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Get that in order and get the uh, get, uh, uh, valve sockets in there and so on and so on. I really have to uh, be on my guard because uh, you can do it on, only once wrong. So if you do it wrong you can all start all over. So uh, I have no uh, taste for that to do it wrong so it has to be right from the beginning. Anyway guys, that will be it for now, I will come back here, okay? Welcome back guys, as you can see, we are uh, at the secondary uh, 300 volts, the first part. And there's a second uh, part, 300 volts. There's a phase shift uh, transformer, so we have two anodes on the rectifier, and on the bottom you can see uh, our two uh, light speaker transformers. The only thing we have to do there is uh, put on the, uh, the secondary uh, uh, for the light speaker. So that will be about to have a look. Performs uh, 73 uh, turns, so there will be two layers of one mil on there. So uh, anyway, guys, I will shut down again and uh, carry on with uh, winding the transformer. Uh, the next part will be that it is completed, and uh, I will show you. Okay. Hi uh, guys, uh, just a short thing. Uh, uh, I discovered I needed a, uh, a choke in the power supply, so um, it's namely uh, the screen guards of the uh, EL34s have to be on there, and also the preamplifiers will be connected to, <coughs> excuse me, to that choke. So there's about 70 milliamps. <coughs> excuse me again, and. Uh, I think we need that, so I had uh, a good look at the schematics I uh, gave, gave off uh, the internet. Well, to be honest with you, I don't uh, believe it is any good. So uh, I will uh, investigate further. So I have uh, some book from Philips here or something like that. Well, uh, amplifiers in there, good amplifiers actually, uh, with a, the EL34. Uh, so uh, I will have a look into that. See. Uh, uh, so also a pre amplifier with mixer, so we'll have a look, okay? So I will shut down the video now and I will come back later, okay? Hi everybody, welcome back. As you can see, uh, I'm starting uh, uh, to uh, put the 
the core into the formers. It's uh, quite simple to do. Just uh, it's quality uh, uh, metal, so uh, it's an output transformer. Uh, well, you will say, why are you pu uh, bu uh, not buying uh, output transformers? Well, they are a lot better. Who says so? Who says so? Who says that they're not good? My experience uh, is with my transformers, I never uh, notice any distortion, as so far as I know. And there are people around uh, who are uh, telling you from golden, golden uh, connectors this and it will do this and that and the other. Well, I want to say only one thing to you. Uh, be careful, don't, don't step into the bullshit. Eh? Because that will, will uh, happen to you if you're not careful. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Um, in practical terms, and there will be a moment uh, on this project when this uh, amplifier is going to perform. Uh, and you will be probably will, will be surprised how well you will perform. So uh, anyway, guys, I will leave it at that. So, uh, I had my rant again this morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, just uh, busy with, uh, with uh, uh, winding uh, my uh, choke for 70 milliamps. Um, uh, this, uh, for instance, this uh, schematic I'm not going to use. I don't have much confidence in, in into it because first of all we have the wrong impedance here. That's what starts off. And then I see all sorts of things were happening here with capacitors and this one and the other. Um, that uh, puts doubts in, into my mind what uh, the, the frequency range is going to be. So uh, and then we have here uh, on, 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 on the filaments. We have here uh, <laughs> the whole uh, shebang goes through that core, to 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 that uh, uh, choke. Uh, have you any idea how much uh, uh, this this uh, choke has to be? This, they're talking about 150 milliamps, on the 500 or 5 to 10 hundred. Do you have any idea how big that core has to be? You're not going to use that because this is bullshit to uh, to to. Get the anode, the anode straight away onto the core from the, from that from the, that choke. This is absolutely bull. You don't need that. You need the preamplifiers has to go through that. You can use you can use uh, the anode current straight from the, from the transformer. No problem. You can have the, the screen grids. You can can have from up behind the the, the choke. No problem. There's no reason now to get all that anode current through that choke. No way. There's no reason. The uh, the the G Z uh, thirty four is two hundred and fifty milliamps and has a maximum capacity of sixty microamps. I said uh, micro uh, microfarad. Sorry. So if you, if you put an 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 forty seven microfarad here, yeah, and a very small resistor and put another. Uh, 47 uh, microfarad behind that. You have no problems. You have a perfect, perfect stable uh, voltage. You won't even notice it down here at all. So anyway, yeah, this is not going to use. I have another schematic up here in the book. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, that is that should be an, a decent uh, amplifier, but it is an uh, an AB uh, class, so push pull and. Um, Anyway, uh, I'm going to look uh, so far as I can see uh, how far I can go with this. I will probably end up with, uh, with uh, making my own schematic. There are schematics in there that I like, and there are parts of that schematic I like. Yeah, so we have to see. Uh, uh, it's all a bit. Uh, I think it will be okay. Uh, the only thing why. Uh, uh, what I have to see too is that 
the amplification of the of the preamplifier should be enough for a magnetic dynamic uh, element. That's all. So that is and the rest is um, no. We see that. Okay. Well, now guys, enough chat over my, my, my rant, and uh, I go on with my uh, with my job. All right. Hi guys, welcome back again. Okay guys, uh, this is the last part of a bit of video I'll, do, I'll put on there. Uh, on the left hand side you can see uh, the choke is finished, I've mounted them up. Uh, the only thing we have to do is uh, get all the wires connected up here. Put those things on, uh, that's the only thing I have to do. And uh, that will be it, uh, gentlemen and ladies. Or well, ladies and gentlemen I should say, how oh, rude. Um, anyway guys, uh, um, yeah, what more is there to say, uh, everything is there, everything is uh, done, so we uh, will come to, uh, the next video will be uh, uh, on uh, the construction and the mounting of uh, sockets and so on and so on, uh, on to the, well, I'll show you. <laughs> There we go, there's a piece out of it, you can see it, there's a piece out of it, so there's some holes in there I don't like, that's uh, the thing is what's going to be in, and uh, that will be it, I'll show you a bit, a bit better, there you go, that's uh, the front of it, I will try to cover up those holes with two, uh, uh, two meters up here, see what I can do, how big there you go, you won't see anything of that. Anyway, uh, well, uh, well, well that's it, uh, that always happens when you uh, uh, start a project and you don't finish it. <laughs> that's what it is. Okay, okay, guys, I will uh, shut the video down. And uh, the next time around, I'll be able to see the, see the construction of this, uh, this part. So uh, I will wish you the best uh, day and uh, I will see you again, okay?